Well, joining me now to give his tea is cricket fan and member of the House of Lords, Lord Taylor of Warwick. Lord Taylor, am I a dinosaur? Well, Stephen Fry is never shy with uh, his views, but I think he's gone a bit over the top here by saying that the term batsman is rude. Uh, I'm afraid he's, he's left me rather stumped. Uh, he's hit me for six with that one. Um, you know, it's, it's evolution, not revolution. We want gender-neutral terms. We don't want to be patronising to women. The women's game is really improving. It's rapidly successful. There's the T20, there's the 100. Women are taking part in the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham at the end of July. My concern is that, you know, cricket over the years has some rather quaint terminology, which adds to the beauty of the game. Mm -hmm. But the words could offend if you take it too literally. I mean, woke can become a joke. I'll give you some examples. Um, leg break. Uh, leg cutter, bowling a maiden over, um, night watchman. Are we going to ban those terms as well? I mean, you know, we, we can take these things too far. In fact, I think Stephen Fry really needs to understand that um, the term batter has been in use for female cricketers who bat for some time. But, you know, even the word batter is ugly. It makes it sound as if you're making a, a pancake or yeah. fried fish to eat with your chips. No, it really, really does. And I mean, I'm wondering, do you actually think that the, the joy, frankly, that comes out of sport, and one thing that I find particularly beautiful about cricket in particular, is how spread across the world it is. You know, countries rich or poor, it is a national sport that is enjoyed by so many people. And I just think that people watching the game, the beautiful game that it is, a test match or whatever else, you're not watching it and thinking, Oh, my word, right, Stephen Fry, he's just in. Uh, this just in, folks. Batter, we can't, we've got to start saying batter, we can't say batsman, we're going to offend 50% of the world. It's just cartoon, just get a grip. There are real problems in the world. This is what I think. I, Darren, I agree with you, just get a drip, look, get a grip. But my father was the first, uh, well, you, yes, get, get a drip for Stephen Fry. My father was the first black man to play for Warwickshire in 1948, you know, and he faced a lot of racism. The game has really progressed since then. Yorkshire's had its problems, but the ECB, the England uh, and, and uh, Wales Cricket Board are really sorting these things out. These are the real issues, not whether you call a woman a uh, batswoman or a batter. You know, there's no rest for the wicket, to coin a phrase. I think we need to look at the real issues. I myself played for Warwickshire at under 15, under 19 and Colts uh, level. And cricket now is the most popular game in the world bar football. It's more popular than baseball. Yeah. You know, especially the short form of cricket. So worrying about uh, words, I mean, for example, every uh, cricket batter dreads a duck. Does that mean we hate ducks, our feathered friends who uh, swim in the ponds? No, we're talking about if you score a naught, you know, you exactly. get a little bit too... We are, we're getting, it's going insane. But Lord Taylor, we're going to have to leave it there, of course. That was cricket fan and member of the House of Lords, Lord Taylor of Warwick. Thank you for your time.